trains. Ever since I was a kid, I was fascinated by steam train. We've seen way too many movies somewhere. Where? Back to the future! And with Create Mod, it's just amazing. The fact that you can build a train in Minecraft and go roaming around the world with it for hours. I was just... I had a lot of fun. It is time for an upgrade. And this time we have an add-on for more decorative blocks for the train. And before we start, be sure to like and subscribe. I have a train station tutorial coming up and you wouldn't want to miss it. Now let's get right into it. We can use the old engine's template, but we're gonna make it longer, so I added a temporary station. So let's move the train here. Right, the train is in position. We can disassemble it. We should break the glue in the station before we start. And assemble on the station. Now firstly, we're gonna have to break almost everything on the side. And we'll start with a deep slate here. The lower layer is very similar to the new. We still need adjustment. Move the base in here and replace the old one with the stair. And we're also gonna move the bogey forward. Change the type. And cover the wheels with basin and girders. Now we can replace the good old crushing wheels. And have it be a train hull from the queer deco. We use a cast iron. And now we're gonna make the car catcher. Place plasters on the side here, and have a girders behind it. A catwalk stairs in the center, looks great. And get some shooting girders, it's a steam pipe thingy. Just like that. And more stairs on the side. And a placard in front of a smoke box. And let's make this part thicker to look like a firebox. And some metal girders. Let's run a shot along the boiler. And add a bracket. Finishing up the firebox. And we can also hide a steam whistle here. Let's move the smokestack forward as well. And place an actual smokestack from the steam and rails on the top. And cover the rest with the trapdoors. <laughs> Almost forgot a headlight. Place a girder here as a base, and a cage lamp for the queer deco. Let's get a bit of railing here. Alright, there's one side finished. Let's do the other. And now for the cap. I'm gonna replace the bogey underneath it. Place a new bogey here. And now do the flooring and the support. Add a shaft along the side here. And this is gonna be a weird angle for the bracket. And the other side as well. Alright, let's replace all the frame panels with the copycats. Hmm, 
Didn't mean to break that. Right, the other side. Maybe let's change it up with the trap doors. <laughs> Not like that. Like that. We're also going to redo the flow about the coupling. And add a stair on each side here. And cover out the shaft with the trap doors. Maybe not this one. Let's break most of the control here. And on this one we have two train controls on board. A large firebox in the middle. And the opening. Cover the canvas with shaft and the brackets. And we'll place both windows here as well. Let's get some lighting above the cap, using a frame slabs. Alright, there's our locomotive. Now it's time for the new tender. And we're gonna start from scratch. Place the bulky one block from the locomotive. A deep slate for four. Another bogey in the back and one more deep slate. Make it three blocks wide, but leave the bogey. Then I'll place a metal girders between the bogeys. We'll raise up the wall in the middle using an industrial iron. Now this new tender not just gonna have a coal bunker. Apparently, after a few research, I found out that there's a type of tender that you can actually walk through. And that's called a corridor tender, like the one you use on a flying Scotsman. So I'll be trying to make that. This side here will be the corridor. Let's lower the back shape down for a bit. Now we're gonna use a carpet cap for the tender wall. Once we have the wall, we can add a texture. I use a layered deep slate at the bottom, and an industrial iron on the rest. Just finishing up the top. And we'll add the trap doors above the coal bunker. Maybe a bit of detailing behind the cab. And some girder and the brackets. There we go. Let's make a corridor entrance a bit different. And cover the flooring with the cast iron trap doors. Now I will fake a cold texture on these two blocks. Have this one be a framed carpet. Now from what I found in reference, there's like a tank or something behind a coal bunker. So let's replicate that with a basin, a shaft, and a bracket. Yeah, this just looks like it from afar. Now let's slope down the back. And change it up with the catwalk stairs. And a bit of railing. We'll close off the back here but left the doorway. Oh, and don't forget the cobbler. There we go. And a bit more detailing. Alright, there's the new tender. Now it's time for the first carriage. Passenger bogey looks great. Well fitting. 
The bogey is two blocks away from the copper. And place the block back for 11 more. And another bogey. We'll fill up the side and make a flat ready for the rest. And here we'll make a wall for the vestibule. And then we can divide up a section for three on each side. And one more vestibule on the back. And we can cover the roof with the deep slate tire slab. And let's have a middle one with the old one, just like the old one. Add a bit of shape for the interior. Now, once again, we're gonna have to use copper cap panels for the wall. And we're sure we're gonna be using a lot of them here. You can have one door on the front or the back, and have the other one be a small window. Industrial iron on the bottom, followed by train casing and coarse bricks, with the top be a chisel deep slate, a dark oak with small windows, and a glass trapdoor on the rest. And here we have a copycat step for, well, a step. Oh, and don't forget the door. And the other side. Right, that is all for the exterior. Now, the inside. We'll do the third class first. I'll change all the floor to polish deep slate, just like the old design. Right, there is one berth. Change the inner wall to industrial iron and anesthetic casing. Just making sure it doesn't look too luxurious. Let's get some lighting in here with the candles. And we have an anesthetic door close out the vestibule. And let's decorate it for a bit. We'll have a funnel about the train doors and a cage lamp. And since there is no door here, maybe we'll make a small cabinet area. Oh, I almost forgot to place down a carpet. And now for the gangway. We'll finish with the cobble first. And we'll enclose the gangway with the cast iron sheep first slab. Jeez, the name. Close the top with shaft and bracket. And the copper cat steps to make it a little taller. Right, we're gonna stop it right here for now. We will continue the rest of the train on the next video. And by the way, thank you all so much for 1000 subscribers. It has been quite a surprise, but I do appreciate everyone who's with me along the way here. Once again, thank you. Have a nice day to you all, and I'll see you in the next one.